Hey everybody. So I am actually making a few videos at the 8th and East Craft Retreat Center, which doesn't have to be just used for craft retreats, but that's what we're using it for right now. So I actually have, it's hard to see, uh, my sewing machine right here. And then the one behind me is also my sewing machine. Um, but my friend Lauren is borrowing it while we're here. And partially because she hasn't been able to find the power cord for her machine for I don't know, at least a year, I think two years. <laughs> so I brought her my machine to work on and um, she's been working on her quilt, but she is taking a break this morning. So I thought that I would um, talk about kind of what I'm doing. So let's check it out. Um, behind me, you can see I have a, uh, just a fabric strip up top. Let me raise that a little bit. There, so just that fabric strip up top. And uh, that is going to be the top border for my quilt top. So this is what I've been working on. It's not perfect and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am not like a really good quilter. I just do it for fun um, and I don't need it to be perfect. So Lauren goes much slower and she works really hard to make everything perfect. And I know my quilt's going to be abused by, you know, husband, child, cat. So I, I haven't worried as much about it. I care more about having it done. And not that way when it comes to lace though. Let's see. So just take this. There we go. And just to give you an idea of what it will eventually look like. This is kind of what it's going to look like. So I don't have it all the way up. I'm a little too short to get this all the way off the floor, but um, I do have the side borders on and I have the top border ready to put on. But before I did that, I thought, well, I better go ahead and uh, make the bottom border. And then I can take this off the wall and I can do the top and the bottom. But I didn't get that done yesterday. <laughs> so, Today is going to be all about doing the bottom border and taking my things off the wall, but I thought that I would sort of chit chat with you all. Ooh, that's not good there. <laughs> Can't make it square. There we go. Anyway, that I would chit chat with you a little bit this morning before I did that. So um, we have been at 8th and East. This is the second year and my friend Linda um, built and owns this little craft retreat. So part of the reason I like to come up here is just to see my friend Linda. And part of the reason is, of course, to actually get some crafting done. Now, I had intended to have a lace retreat. Um, you will have seen that posted on the website. And I did have one student who came up, and we had a great time, had a really good session. She learned a ton uh, and also introduced me to Ponchetto Valsesiano, which I really appreciate because I am now going to go explore Ponchetto Valsesiano. And... Um, and I'm gonna have to be emailing Nancy because that woman, she has some like knowledge and some fun stuff that I need to ask about. Um, anyway, so Nancy, if you watch this, hi. It was so much fun to have you in class. Um, anyway, and then I have a little pop-up shop going. So um, I don't know if anybody will stop by today, but if they do, I have some uh, things to shop from. Now it's not very pretty because it's just a little mini pop-up shop and uh, I probably packed more than I should have, but it's always nice to have options. Uh, and I am headed to Ozark Fiber Fling, so you should be watching this on Monday. Um, I will have shot this while I'm here at the retreat center, but you should be seeing this one on Monday. And uh, Ozark Fiber Fling will be coming up then that weekend. So Ozark Fiber Fling is November um, 3rd and 4th, I believe. So my birthday is the 2nd. I turned 40 this year, so that'll be fun because I get to kind of celebrate it at the Fiber Festival. Um, and I have lots of students that are signed up for my classes. So thank you so much for signing up for classes. I can't wait to meet you all. We're going to have a fabulous time. And then on top of that, um, we will be vending. So my friend Lauren, of course, is going to help me with that because she's sort of my, um, Midwest person that I go to when I need a Midwestern person to help out. And it should be, it should be so much fun. It should be so much fun. Anyway, I'm going to walk you around the room just a little bit because this is the great big crafty crafty room. And then I'll probably throw in like 
a fast video of me sewing, so don't think that this is real time or anything. Um, I'll just, you know, speed it up and knock the volume out so that you can see kind of what I'm doing. It's This is the boring part. It's the end of it where I'm just making that, you know, that long blue strip with the little squares on the ends. So it's not, it's not very fun. Um, but I'll show you me showing or sewing, showing, sewing, 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 sewing. I don't know. I'm tired this morning. Um, it's just been a long, long month, really. Um, lots of stuff going on and I'm just, I'm still kind of sleepy. Anyway, I'm going to show you around the room now. All right, so here is kind of the outside wall. This is along the street here. And I have my projects laid out. So this is my uh, quilt that I'm working on right now and my backing fabric. And then I have like all the strips that I'll use for the binding. And then this is, was another one that didn't turn out quite the way I wanted. So now I'm, I'm reconfiguring it. Um, oh, and look, some leftovers from my, my class. This is basically a, uh, almost a full Babila kit. Um, but not quite. And then over here, I had another project that I'm working on, but I'll talk about that another time. And then I put out, um, just sort of an assortment of things. Again, it's not very pretty, but it's shoppable. Um, so if anybody had stopped by, they'd get to shop this. And then this is my friend Linda's quilt. This is what she's been working on. And she got all of these pieces finally put together last night. So she's been working them in sections. And they're English paper pieced. She's really into that. So that's kind of the center of hers. And then there's another piece. So this is where she put all of her like pieces in progress. So you can see she has a lot of it done. And now it's just kind of putting together a lot of the big chunks to finish it. But I really love this fabric that she chose. I love these, sorry there, these little stars, little fairy dust stars is what she called them. Um, I don't know, I just, I like the dimension that it adds on the fabric, even though it's mostly a solid. And it's really nice because now she has her um, big panels up. So you can, if you're working on a quilt or even a knit piece, I mean, you can pin it out so you can kind of see what's happening with it, which is super cool. Anyway, and this is just her like big craft room. So um, if you're interested in seeing more of the retreat center, I did make a video last year and I put that up where you can see kind of the whole thing, but it's just a really nice space. If you are looking for a craft or retreat center, in Wisconsin. Uh, Linda's got a great one here in Baraboo, so I can definitely recommend it. All right, now I'm going to get back to what I was doing, and, um, and we'll do a little sewing together. Here is my completely finished quilt top, as well as some casserole carriers that I made while I was at the retreat center. And in addition to that, I made some towels or napkins, I'm not sure. And then this is Lauren's finished quilt top, and this is how far Linda made it on hers. I decided on my way back that I was going to stop at the cheese chalet. So I just thought that I would give you a little look at the outside of the cheese chalet. So if you're up near Baraboo, um, this is a little south of Baraboo, but you too can stop at the uh, Allen Box cheese chalet. And I find this really entertaining because, uh, yeah, it's just sort of a nice little look at Wisconsin. The chalet was not just cheese, they had other things as well, and I found these plushies super cute. So thanks so much for coming along to the 8th and East Crafts Retreat with me, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok channels. 
please take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and craftually.